Boom, oh, and we're recording. Cheers, big ears. Cheers. Hey, don't make fun of my ears. Uh, welcome to oh, episode boy. number 67 of the Average Man Podcast. This one's called Airing Out. And we're trying something uh, a little bit different tonight. So my first Zoom interview, it's not really an interview, it's just my best mate. So we'll just be talking shit, but um, it's a good way, to, good way to test this out, eh? So social isolation podcasting. Yeah. What are you looking for? A lighter? Yeah. It's great. Yeah, so oh, we're both oh, just... Oh, we're just both just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Your hips, I'm hips closer than you. That's Next great. time I'm going to try and sit the same distance that you are. So, um, I yeah. I thought like maybe instead of just like my big ugly no, face... you did it right. Shot, that it, I could just like... Yeah, no, you, more of my beautiful garage. You, you did it right. I'm going to do that next time because I, I look like that. I uh, might wear pants next time because I feel a bit. Well, at least you've got like naked. I don't know something. I like your balls are hanging out. Well, there. Yeah, well, they are quite large. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, look, we just hooked up this Zoom chat. Um, I actually was chatting to uh, Ibs and Kate from Ironworks, and they put me onto this. Said we can do some podcasting like this while everyone's in lockdown. They're doing classes like this at the moment. Um, yep. I think a few people yep. are doing that. So like, and then I was just thinking about today, I was in the kitchen fucking around and I thought, oh man, I was thinking about music and we've been talking about music lately. I thought I could get Eli yeah. on to a fucking Zoom podcast. We don't have to wait to oh, catch course. up like once a year. So this is it, man. Yep. Break, breaking the Zoom yeah. cherry. And this I'm going to... Our, our one catch up. So make yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to... Uh, oh, I'll put the... Just... What'd you do there? I just converted my coffee table into a footrest. So a foot, right, yeah, it looks super comfy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am so comfortable right I'm gonna now. Try, I'm going to try and get more comfy. I feel a bit jealous, actually. So I look. Do yourself a favour, man. Like, comfy up. I come sit on a stool, man, in my living room. I've set up here now. Next time I'll set up on the couch. Yeah, now you've done it yeah, right. Yeah, well... Mm. Yeah, now you've done it right. So, so... um. Yeah, doing the Zoom podcast, man. And basically, you're fucking... You're at home for um, you're at home for three weeks. Three weeks, on isol in isolation. Look, no, quarantine, not quarantine, isolation, self isolating with your mum and dad. I think I have enough supplies to see me through. You know, bits and of this, wood and s screws and yeah, plants and yeah, yeah, things just to do around the house. Yeah. Might have to might have to kill an animal to to get meat to get through it. Kill a can <laughs> kill a kangaroo. No. Nah. <laughs> I don't think Ems would let you do that, bro. No, <laughs> you, you, you. Oh, I'll kill fish. I'll go fishing. No. So, uh, what's yeah, going on? Nah. Well, at the moment, um, I've just got back from work. Yeah. So um, you're a minor. Rosters from. Yeah. So change our rosters from week on, week off to like three weeks on, three weeks off now. So we're not flying around and commuting as much because that's what's yeah. spreading it. The you know, everyone. Oh, so that's what's going to be now. You were like a week and a week, or oh, a week and a week off, or you two on yeah. one off. You week, you week and week, week and week off. And yeah. now it's going to be three on three then, off. Yeah, so that's going to stop like three shift changes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, and all that sort of stuff. They're yeah. doing in town here, so I think that it, it makes it hard to talk over each other with that little delay, eh? I've I found that already. I know, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll I'll get better at it. <laughs> no, it was both of us because. Like there's that delay period, but um, so they're doing it here in town as well. The um, they're they're keeping FIFO workers who are coming in, like on the rail, the rail workers and shit, in camp. They're not allowed any contact with the community, and if if people are coming in to to fly, they've got to like stay in, in quarantine for two weeks. They can only go to or from yeah, work. Copy that. So pretty fucking yeah. What a weird time, man. Eh? <clears throat> it is like um, like it's a it's a time. Like, yeah, in, in that's history, what I was. There's like a there's a space that's highlighted there, and in, in like not yeah. 2020. That's COVID. what I was. That's what I was saying, man. Because like the I've been looking forward to the 20s since like the well, probably since the 90s finished. Like not as in like <laughs> not as in I didn't enjoy my life, but like the time period, the 20s. Like I I love like time periods. Like the 60s were obviously cool. The 50s were badass. The 20s were and yeah, the 1920s yeah, yeah. were a gangster period back you know in history. 
I was like, oh, how cool would it be when we get into the 2020s? Like, the noughties were lame. Like, the noughties. They were fucking lame. The, the, what was the one? Oh, but, but what about the teens? No one even knew what to call it between 2011 and 2009. No one even knew what to call them. What were they? The teens. I know. And, like, no one Gay. even figured it out in that whole time either. Like, I know. I <laughs> know. <laughs> there was a solid nine years Everyone's to like, come up with. Uh, good, just no one said way it. too hard. Like, let's yeah. just... <laughs> The noughties was like lame, but it was the best they could do. And then even though there was only yeah, one, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I was about to say there's only one nought, but it wasn't. Um, so, we're, we're in the 20s, man. And now it's highlighted, as you said, by the fucking, like, we didn't have the Great Depression, the Great War, Great Famine. We got the great fucking quarantine. Dark the whole, ages. The whole world is fucking yeah. self-isolating. It's crazy, man. You wouldn't think so many people would And how much war. fun are we having, like? Well, at least we've got something to talk about. Well, yeah, like I just like um, how all like the artists and the musicians around the world are just like hunkering down and just like writing heaps of songs and yeah. shit like that. Like, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's the hardest thing with an artist all... is to try and get him in the fucking studio to fucking record some. Sh- now we've got like the whole and, and especially world be... in the recording studio, bro. Doing it, and and because of the internet, they can they can still collab and shit like that. But because of the way the music industry is set up now, they've got to um, they've got to tour. They've got to keep touring to make money flat out so now that they can't tour they're sitting at home like you said writing making music doing collabs there's going to be some good art like just general art visual art yeah, sound art that, that like, comes oh, out of it pumping out except yeah. like your movies and your tv series and shit there's going to be a big gap in like our netflix shows and shit like that for in like you know, a year from nine months from now a year from now because they big collaborations and shit they're just not happening but then it's probably the I same thing focused focused on the visual arts a lot with the movies in all yeah, the last true. years and that you know hollywood it's and true. all that visual visual it's time a lot of shows just, out just, yeah fuck them it's all right actors are rich anyway they can just have a break and oh, we'll i'm thinking more about stuff. us it's time for sound art yeah no you're right and visual art like graphic art but but at least for the tv shows and the movies and all that at least they got time to just have a breather the writers as well write some good scripts rather than just having to pump them out quickly you know, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they, put, they go through them so quickly, man. Like, uh, fuck me, dude's like, like The Rock. I mean, he's in like four different shows every single year, along with like three or four other ventures he's got going. It's like, fucking dude, chill out. They hang out with your little girl. <laughs> so with your folks, man. Yeah, I like what you're... Go. No. Where are my folks? No, no, I was going to detour. You keep going what you're saying? Um, no, no, detour's good. Man, okay. The rock. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, with your, your folks, you're, they stay at the house where you are as well because you're not there half the time. And now they're there flat out. You're all there for three weeks together. And they're in that age range. Yeah. Like, like mine, they've got to be careful. So what's the deal? What, what's happening at the, the, the King household? At the King residence. So residence. Well, mum and dad live with me. Yeah, and that's awesome because we all work away and have our own lives and it's yeah. all but like works, you know. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the world went into this like lockdown. Yeah. So now I'm stuck at home like a 35 year old man with my elderly parents. <laughs> it's fucking boring as shit, man. Like, it's nothing to do. You can't even go down the pub for a beer on your own. You go for a like, skate once a day. Yeah. And just like, uh, like I built thing. I oh, like I built this coffee table. Like, oh, well, I didn't build the coffee table. That's a lie. <laughs> but I cut out a square bit of square wood. Yeah, yeah. And did that. So yeah, that be, was today's gotta care- project. Got to be careful showing your carbon to mates. Your fucking handiwork cut coffee tables. You've been you get judged. <laughs> you get judged that hard. Yeah, yeah. That was only just a quick preview. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, let you yeah. measure it or anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, like tomorrow, um, tomorrow's job is to like run a cable through the roof so I can hardwire my internet to my house. Oh, sick. So I can podcast in there instead of doing it here. So what's the deal? You get the best internet in the garage. Uh-oh. Okay, so like laptops hooked up straight to the modem, like hardwired, bang, I'm not Wi-Fi. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, Ethernet. Or yeah, just cuts all or the- delays. What is it called? Lab or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Yep, lab. Yeah. 
So um, to do that, because like I've got my over here. Shit. See, there's my modem. Awesome. On the wall, I see it. Looks like a modem. Yeah, on the wall there. Yeah. Yeah, modem. Yeah. That's my, wow. that's my Wi-Fi modem. <laughs> yeah. Is that a full drink or an empty one? Is it me now? No, that was just the um, no, nah, that was just a plastic um, or glassy plastic ashtray that didn't have any cigarettes in it. it was just yeah, right. Yeah, wow. Um, yeah, definitely would have believed you if you just told me you had a modem on the wall. <clears throat> it was not like fucking uh, yes. cra- crazy. Yeah. Um, so the modem's outside, outside for some reason, and it's Wi-Fi modem. Yeah. So I want to put it inside so I get yeah. better Wi-Fi. Roger, makes yeah. sense. So, you know, hard wire that sucker in. Yeah, I use the Ethernet cable to to my um my Apple TV, so that's hard wired straight into the modem, so I get good. I don't get lag on my my streaming services and shit. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Because yeah, my modem's was... going is right where my Apple TV is. Ooh, hey. Well, there you go. You fucking be able to hook straight into that bad boy. Straight in. Um, and with you, so I was going to ask about you, you, do you, you don't miss out on any pay then because, because the way they've changed the shifts up, it just straight out goes three weeks off and you're back on three weeks on. So it'll work out in the wash for you guys. It's still even time. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And your old, is your old boy still working then? He is, um, hasn't put a date on finishing up, but it'll be this year. Yeah. Yeah. My, my old boy just retired on what, Friday. Oh, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, he couldn't have a retirement party or anything. So they were supposed to go. This is one of those COVID things. So they were supposed to go to the States later in the year, Canada and the States. Obviously, that's been canned. And then, like, you've worked for your whole life and you've been putting money in superannuation and all that shit. And then the stock market crashes and, like, a couple of months before you access your, 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 um, your super, it drops, like, $70,000 or some shit. <laughs> Which is a lot of a lot of work squirreling that away. Yeah. Yeah. So he's um they've got a backup plan. They're, they're gonna live on mum's super for now because she's already retired and accessed it and then let just leave his in that in the stock market till it comes back up again and hopefully things level out again. So but how fast you know, and there's yeah, right, sto- yeah. stories like that just everywhere, all, like people getting fucked over, this oh, crazy amazing. thing yeah. happened. Yeah, imagine this person's been yeah. planning this, this is the trip they're gonna have, trip of a lifetime, what's gonna happen this year, and they're finally gonna do it, and all the ducks were in a row, and then nah, fucking world's on lockdown, can't fly anywhere. Mm. It's fucking crazy, like, well, if, not, if someone had told you. Not that we can have a, oh shit, we've got that thing going yeah, on. Yeah, it's that lag going on. <laughs> but if someone had told you six weeks ago that, um in two months' time or six weeks' time, you wouldn't be able to fly out of the country, you wouldn't be able to fly interstate, you wouldn't, they'd close all the parks, all the pools, all the pubs, clubs, gyms across the whole world. You'd just go, fuck off, that's never going to happen. People would riot. But it happened, and we've barely, barely even batted an eyelid. It's like we just adapt and just change our whole fucking existence like within like a week or two. Yeah, we... um. We did well. I think the world governments did okay, like doing it in like stages. Down stages. Mm. I think if we just went like bang, I think India just went bang, and they sort of had a few dramas for a couple of days, chasing like people around with sticks, sticks and, stuff, and like. shit. Mm. But, um, Saw that. Yeah, they did you see it on the news. It was Some weird funny, shit but, going on over there, making them squat and push up and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah, don't know if that's getting the point across. The, 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 I think the the gradual lockdown. Yeah, and, um, helped all the lunatics like adapt. Yeah, it did. It did that, but it probably also helped the the situation worsen, and when we could have got ahead of it, like if we'd have just been hard ass and locked them down when we had one case in Australia, everyone would have kicked and screamed and, and made a big fuss about it. But now the rest of the world would be in the situation we're in, and we'd be like COVID free in Australia. We'd be able to move freely within our own in our own borders. So there's that. Yeah. And, and, and there's shows. Um, I think because, um, like, it's a, sp- a spreading, spreads by coughing or droplets or whatever. Like Droplet, that. Droplets, if yeah. Everyone just, like, if every single person just stayed isolated, like, for two days, because doesn't it die off on the surfaces and stuff so like that? So there's different. After a couple um, of days? There's different. Nah, it depends what surface. There's different um, takes on that. Some some oh, surfaces it stays on. the maximum one then? I think four days on cardboard. 
we'll say we'll say four days. So if everyone yeah. just four days just stayed yeah. like in their bedroom. In their bedroom, yeah. say four days, got four days worth of food and water. Yeah. Would that not sort of whole like No, because the carriers are still die. No, because the carriers are still walking around sneezing on shit and then touching stuff after that. Oh yeah, so we'd have to get all them. Yeah, that's just not going to work. Not yeah, yeah. Time, so you got to you got to isolate for that whole period where people are are, are still becoming infected and then are still um, in the what do they call it the incubation period where they can infect others. So what's the solution then, Dave? Oh, you're asking the wrong dude. I'm good at um uh, oh, well, I'm good at bitching about other people's solutions, but not so good okay, at coming so up with um, your. No, I think. Solution? What I'm saying... I gave you mine and it just failed. Yeah, it did fail. It fell flat pretty quick. No, what I'm saying is not my solution, but, like, there's a show out at the moment on Netflix, Pandemic. Um, it's about this, cool, man. Though. It's a, yeah, well, yeah, it's about this. and It was about an influenza virus, but influenza, corona, you know, same shit, different bucket. Basically saying exactly what was going to happen. And, and they... So there's people who are specialists who've been in this industry you know, their entire careers who, who knew that this was coming and they advised governments and shit about what to do. And obviously no one took that advice seriously until it was fucking too late. And then they're playing catch up. But if they had shut everything down straight away, that could have actually got ahead of it. So it's fucking, I don't know. That's, that's my, my take on it. Yeah. I would have been bitching a moment about it if they shut it down early. But, now. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely are. It's fucking bizarre, man. Yeah. Fucking cut the whole world's lockdown. Uh. And then China, China are lying about their numbers. <laughs> they re- they've recorded no new, <laughs> no new numbers in like three weeks. But no, no, we've got it under true. control. <laughs> yeah, they're still like 81,000. It's like, yeah, <laughs> all right, you guys got it sorted then. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, fuck, crazy, crazy. They, what do they think? Like, that would believe them. Oh, I, don't think they, <laughs> I don't think they give a fuck, really. They just, they create their own <laughs> truth, don't they? Well, for, for us, yeah, last, I, last, I don't know what to believe her. Uh, well, yeah, I don't think that that's the truth. But for us anyway, loss pretty much um, business as usual. Like I'm flat out at work. Ems is flat out at work, obviously. Kids are both still in, in school and, and in daycare. And then that's the, that's the other thing. You get kind of mixed messages because um, the government, you know, there's this whole stay home unless you have to, you know, only essential workers go to work, um, all this kind of shit. And then they're saying like keep your kids in kindy, keep your kids in, in school and in daycare and, and, and go to work. That's, so there's kind of some mixed messages going on. They've just made daycare free for everyone mm. who's, who's got their kids in daycare for like the next three months at least, which is awesome. But that's yeah, encouraging that you. Work out. Yeah. So I mean, there's encouraging you to put your, yeah. your kids in, in kindy and in daycare and go to work. But they don't want anyone... But they're trying to tell people to stay home unless you're an essential worker. So fuck knows about that. But yeah, for us, it's just as business uh, as usual, going straight ahead. And um, yeah, that just yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Doesn't it? And there's some um, makes, there's some like how does that just doesn't make any sense? No, nah, that's what I thought. And there's some mixed messages, yeah. man. And then there's the people who are like a uh, real like shaming other people for not like you know doing what they're doing, not self isolating. Like well, that's what the good thing you were saying about artists, they're staying at home and, and making music and yeah. shit. But a lot of them are like using it as the latest hashtag, hashtag self-isolation. Look at me, I'm doing the right thing. You know, it's like virtue signaling. I was like, yeah, you don't fucking really work. You just fucking write music. <laughs> You've already got money. You can just sit at home, you know, like we've got to go out and actually physically work to, to get paid. So yeah. yeah. At least they're promoting the right thing for once. But, well, that's true. Yeah, but it is. It does seem a little self-serving from a lot of people. Yeah. So, um, it's sort of, um, I wasn't checking the time. So, can we like stop and come back? Like, I need a beer, and I've also yeah, I got a pause you that I haven't I got, got with me. I got a pause recording button right here. So I'm gonna click right, pause. Can we just like have a two minute inter- inter- Three, two, one. Two. We're back on regime. Re, re, re. All right, I might just put the microphone back there a bit. There we go. That's better. Does that make you happy? Yeah. See, we also what kind of, I've got another what, beer. Beer. What kind of mic are you using there? Oh, um. So I've just got the iRig. But iRig it's a mic, HD. Is it? It's a um, um, not a not a directional. Then it's it's a um. What's the other type? Dynamic no, microphone. Omni. 
Omni. Yeah, yeah so it records all, all around. Omni direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got I got one of those. I probably should use that. This one, this directional is gonna be like right in front. See if I lean back, you can't really hear me very well. See that? Until I lean forward, it's yeah, right gonna right. be it's gonna be like a fist away from your from your mouth to, to catch because it doesn't catch fuck all background noise. Yeah, because the directionals for like so the other ones you'd use it for want to mic up a, a guitar or something like that or yeah yeah they're good for that as well but they're also the reason they're good yeah. for podcasting is because they don't get that I mean, if you're not in a proper full on studio they don't get all that background noise they don't get as much white noise if someone opens the door over there you're not gonna hear a yeah copy that. All that but you know you do have to sit right in front of them so what are you gonna show me exciting okay so um all right so. I've never done any edibles before. Ooh, ooh, neither. Yeah, so, oh, well, I'm just gonna show you this. I've been um, eating Lego the last few days. What is it? It's a piece of Lego. It looks like a piece of black Lego. Yep, standard two, four, standard eight, eight, Piece black like oh it's bendy like jello like the rubber and it's going in his mouth you just ate a piece of lego bro so it's sort of i'm just i told you i've been eating lego where did that come from um, so what is it the dark web or whatever? like <laughs> the dark web yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You, you 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 you're doing that yourself or you got a mate that's got that hook up Hang on. Oh, dude, must, that shit must be chewy. Lego yeah. apparently not easy to eat. Mm. Mm. It's not, it tastes like lollies or something like that. But It looked like lollies. Was it like a licorice? It's consistency of, no, it was more like, um, it's like a grapey flavor or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Black currant. Okay. So, but it's like a chewy jelly. Mm, yeah. It's yeah, like, it's quite it's firm. Like jelly, it's like chewy jelly. Yeah, yeah. Look quite firm. Um, anyway, so. Like a jelly lolly. Um, friend of a friend. Yeah. A friend of a friend um, was talking about him and says, oh, yeah, I've got these edibles. And I'm like, oh, I want some. Get me some. Yeah. So um, he said, yeah, sweet. Well, it's just this app. So you get this app, which lets you get on the dark web, yeah. which then. Then you can go through the. the get the, in contact like with people that like. Hook it up. Circles. <laughs> so where's it coming from? Like um, the States or Canada or something? So I don't know because I'm shit at all that and I'm not thinking uh, into it and it's not sort of my thing. So yeah, I just said, I'll just give you some money and you just get it for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so you were there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did have a contact. And then, and then you know, they got they got the milligram on the package and how much they are and, and that kind of shit or are you just swinging it? I um, don't know because I just got it. In the, oh, you like a, you like a bag. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it old school. Thought it would come in like a colour for the like a colourful or... bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nah. Yeah, hope it wasn't China. <laughs> no, I <laughs> didn't didn't get to have a look around the Lego factory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. No, I just assumed that if they were buying it online, it came from like a you know obviously let, edibles are legal in Canada and, and the states and shit now. So there's legitimate companies that sell that stuff. Will come in like a Starburst packet, yeah. and it'll be like fucking gummy bears. Yeah, and they'll tell you the milligram of the t how much yeah. THC is in one gummy bear and shit like that. Yeah, that was that's, that's what I was getting at. But well, no, you just got it in a fucking Ziploc bag. Yeah, I was told to n never have two, and yeah, I've only been having like half. Half, so. and that does the trick. Yeah, mm. yeah and oh, so cool! Edibles are awesome, man. I love edibles. <laughs> yeah. Like similar to, to to having like to like having weed cookies. Um, well, that's the thing. I've never really done the whole... Like, oh, so you've never really... Had, yeah, you know, right. So like, oh, man, I've had some Not fucking, properly, like, you know... I've had some yeah, bad experiences. Yeah. Bad experiences on, on, on eating, eating mild cookies and stuff. Because, you know, when you're a teenager or early 20s and fucking Roger cook, cooks up a batch, I never, ever had a friend called Roger. I don't know why it's yeah. Roger. But, you know, fucking... Tony cooks up a batch. Yeah, you, you don't know 
what kind of weed it is, how much weed they use, how much butter you got in that particular cookie. You don't know what you have, and it's just winging it every single time. You know, and I've had some, some some real gut punches from fucking eating weed yeah. cookies back in the day, man. And it lasts for so long, like like a good eight to ten hours. It's like ugh, it's coming on stronger and stronger. So, nut, they're pretty smooth. They're pretty smooth. Like good and fun and like yeah 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 like you can operate and stuff and <laughs> that little activities that would do. And, you know, oh, operate just normal operate, yeah, cool. right. not operate heavy machinery. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, no. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought you meant when you said operate. So, and the reason why this has all come along is because we're in lockdown, man. I'm yeah, yeah. Weeks off. No piss test for you. Ooh. Yeah, lovely. So all no, the mine, no, no, all, all these no, miners no. around the country, miners around the country are just loading up, and fucking getting some weed yeah, in the system. Every miner like in WA just loading it up. Right? Yeah. So you may, you guys may never go back to the to the old one and one again. Everyone's happy. Less flights, more productivity. Yeah. Dudes can fucking eat bricks of fucking weed Lego on their first week off. It's a win, win, win. Really. It's it's a win. Well. That's how I'm going to look at it, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've got a question for you before I get on to some music. We've only got about, okay. oh, I'm not, I think I can only record for 40 minutes. Yeah, I'm only ba- we're basic users. Yeah, 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 exactly. I might have to do it as a two-parter. Um, so, oh, fuck it, I'll just skip all that. We've talked about that shit enough. We'll just go straight to the music. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the time. I've only got a few minutes yeah. left of this recording, so fuck it. Um, Music man. Percent on my battery on my laptop. It's not plugged in. No, nah, it's not plugged in. Oh, can I pause it and you go grab a fucking lead? Yeah. Nah, I'll just go grab it. And we're back. You've got a, your, your laptop plugged in. Yep. We've got audio on. Who comes to a live recording podcast without a fucking I do. A battery cable? Well, I do. You do. Yeah. I, I guess. Oh. Can you hear me? I gotcha. To be fair, I think this has been fairly glitch-free for our first ever Zoom podcast. Could have been. I'm pretty happy. With yeah. It. yeah, yeah, could have been worse. Yeah, music. <clears throat> Whoa, sounds freaking out a little bit. Music. Um, we hit you up about a couple of bands the other day. Mathis, the West Aussie rapper. Okay. Did you not listen to him? No. Well, I'm, I'm going to play a track right now because the opening song for this um, opening song for this podcast is the podcast is called Airing Out, and the track is by Mathers. So he's not he's a West Aussie rapper. I'm going to play it for you now, and you should be able to hear it through your speakers. This should work well. Here we go. Okay, so Matt. Oh, M A T H A S. He's a fucking. Sick lyricist, like a full blown just lyricist, man. Hit me. Let me hit this. Hear that? My style is so damn convoluted. Became shackled by my blueprint. That's it. Google turns your glue to the fella. Edit, 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 edit. Pass patchwork quilting. Inlay built in. Stubborn silken craft. on stitching cheese in every bar. Like edit, 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 edit. Not working. Too much, too much, too much audio. Nah, I think maybe there's like a um Yeah, so there's like a noise reduction thingy on the microphones. So yeah, when yeah. it goes over a thing it'll just cut it. Yeah. So I'm only hearing like half beats and half the words and stuff. Oh, damn. But I've got get, him. Get on to him. Mathers. Mathers, yeah. So that's yep. airing out is what this pot, what this um, episode's called. But then he's got some other sick tracks just that'll just be on his list of popular songs or whatever, man. Really good. Just a full blown, like okay. sick, sick, sick lyricist, man. Um, I was surprised I hadn't heard of him until we just heard him at work the other day. Um, yeah, man. Really, really good. Oh, true. Complex raps. Really oh, so good. he's like new. Nah, so he's just dropped a new song, but he hasn't dropped anything in like four years. Um, but West Aussie boy, real good complex like um, technical raps with, you know, rhyming multiple syllables, rhyming entire sentences and just fucking really effortless flow. Really, really good, man. 
good, good, good fucking um, rapper. All right. Teskey Bros, nice. you got on. Nice. You, you, so you're already on to the Teskey Brothers? And you just hadn't heard that out? So I did have... I did have like um, a few of their songs that I must have got off like compilation albums and uh, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, but yeah. Jumped on that new album this morning. Yeah. Um, and oh, good, yeah, eh? I've run it maybe four or five times. And well, then, what, good. What, what about the Pierce Brothers? No, I saw that text that you give me, but I was busy. So yeah, I yeah, jump busy, on Pierce busy. Brothers. Yeah. So they came up. Yep, yep. So Pierce Brothers came up to, uh, they supported Ash Grumwald last year at the Sundowner, um, the Sunday Sundowner for our Northwest Fest. And um, I had heard that folk sort of. Yeah, a bit, they're, they're similar to Teskey Brothers, but a bit harder, a bit more rock. And definitely oh, yeah, folk, cool. yeah. a bit more Mumford and Sunsy, you know, like, a bit harder. And yeah, faster. I gotcha, yeah. Really good, man. Really, really good. Same thing, just listen to their popular songs. I think Amsterdam's a pretty good pretty good track, pretty good place to start and go down the, the rabbit hole from there. But fucking, it's just good to find some real good folk, sort of bluesy, rootsy kind of music, you know, like something to sink your teeth into. Fucking, yeah. Yeah, what, what else are you listening to? Um, so, what have we got here? Um, off the top of my head, I'm still on, actually, I've gone back to Rubens since oh, I yeah. heard... My gun on the uh, countdown for the decade. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's um, pretty good but, too. Uh, it was wasn't it? It's was great. Yeah, I was pretty impressed. Yeah, no, I haven't really been listening to anything new, man, because mm. of that. Because of that countdown, like all of my playlists lately, like all shit the bubbled, old school stuff, shit have bubbled. back to like. Yeah, it's all come back to like the shit Rubens, that, to my the, gun. Yeah. It bubbled to the surface. surface. Um, Fortune, yeah, Fortune Faded, Chili Peppers. I've gone back to like um, some old Meg Max, some Wolf Mother, mm, mm. Um, some bit of bit of Stonefield, um, some bit of like um, Smashing Pumpkins, and some mm. of that grunge from like yeah. back in you know our, our grunge sort of era. Yeah, yeah. So nothing new on the nah. Yeah, on the horizons. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I'll was... definitely definitely jump into that Testy Brothers. Like, I'm, I'm, that my new thing, bro. I'll, sold on, I'll sold on that. Well, definitely, I reckon definitely yeah. check out the Pierce Brothers too. I reckon you'll be down, down for that. All right, bit of a three way. In a three way there, bro. Uh, look, man, I don't know how long it's going to let us record for, and I don't know how sorry? hard it's going to get once it starts getting over the forty minute mark and shit. So, I'm pretty happy with that as a, as the test run. It's good to catch oh, up, and I reckon yeah. like. Test run. We'll, we'll jump on this again, and well, you're home I'll for get a bit for, better. And you're home for two two more weekends. Yeah. So we can do this Easter long weekend. We can we can tee up another session. Yeah. And I'll be on a couch. And you won't surprise me this time because yeah, like I didn't know that. I, was I just fully podcast, like, fully surprised out, you. Yeah. And it will be. Uh, do, I won't do it on a Sunday night because I'm in like get my shit ready, go to bed, go to work tomorrow mode. So we'll do it on like a you know a night where I can let let my balls hang out a little bit, sit on a couch like you are and be all comfortable and drink hard liquor and fucking get weird. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll just leave this app running anyway, bro, and you can just, like, dial me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do need to figure out a better way of getting, like, I need to figure out how to send you an invite via a link. But, bro, I really... Yeah, that'd work. Thanks, thanks for putting some time aside for me, man. I know I hijacked in the middle of the day today. I was all excited when I thought about it. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, I was just, super just, yeah. I just called you up. No, nah, nah, really good, man. And it worked well. And um, yeah, as long as I can... Um, cool. As long as I can... And I'm pretty sure it's easy enough. I did a little test run earlier so I can separate the audio. I put that through my normal host and then put this audio straight up on my YouTube channel. And um, it might become a bit of a thing in isolation. I record some podcasts remotely like this and I'll start getting my YouTube channel moving along too because I wanted to start recording yeah, man, podcasts. Right. Yeah, I wanted to start recording, recording podcasts this year, but I wasn't set up for it yet. But this is a good little test run. And then when I start doing, yeah, I'll, I'll look into later in the year, get the actual gear to have some cameras set up when I do face-to-face interviews with people. So, yeah. Good to see you, man. Good to chat and stubby, shit. Stubby holder. What a stubby holder, man. Like, I'll send one yeah. in the mail. I'll send you one in the mail. Every, every guest gets one. All right. All right, bro. Oh, yeah, fucking... Oh, yeah, let's do a... Um, where are you? Over there. Hi. Ready? Go back. 
Okay. <laughs> well, uh, that's right. it. Okay, ready? Uh, Three. Okay, no. Yeah, five.